Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel on Engineering Mathematics. In this video, I am going to discuss the topic of logarithm of complex numbers. We will also see examples based on it. So let us first see the required prerequisite. Here we will recall polar form of the complex number as well as some properties of logarithm function. We know that polar form of the complex number z is equal to x plus i y is given by z is equal to r cos theta plus i r sin theta. This can also be written as r into e raised to i theta. This r is called as modulus of z and is given by under root of x square plus y square and theta is called as argument of z and is given by tan inverse y by x. Now we will recall some properties of logarithm function. The first property that we are going to see is log of a into b is equal to log a plus log b and log of a raised to b is equal to b log a. I hope you remember polar form of the complex number and property of logarithm. Now let us see how to find out log of complex number. For that in step 1 we will first write the polar form of the complex number. Say the complex number b z is equal to x plus i y then its polar form is r e raised to i theta where r is root of x square plus y square and theta is tan inverse y by x. In step 2 we take log on both sides and then we will apply log properties. On LHS we get log of z and on RHS we get log of r e raised to i theta. This we treat as a into b. Then we know log of a into b is log a plus log b. So here we get log of r plus log of e raised to i theta. And since r is root of x square plus y square, first term becomes log of root of x square plus y square. And since this log is with base e, log of e raised to i theta becomes only i theta, like this. Now this under root of x square plus y square can be written as x square plus y square whole raised to half. So this will look like to us a raised to b. And we know that log of a raised to b is b log a. So log of x square plus y square raised to half can be written as half log of x square plus y square plus i theta as it is. Note that theta is tan inverse of y by x. So this is how you can find out log of complex numbers. So if you are given a complex number z, then its log can be given by the formula half log of x square plus y square plus i into theta, where theta is tan inverse y by x. Now let us see what is called as principal and general value of log of complex number. First we see principal value of log of complex number. Note that you have just seen the formula of log of x plus i y. That formula or that value of log of x plus i y we call as principal value of log of complex number. And for general value of log of complex number, we recall that since sine and cosine are periodic functions of period 2 pi, we can write polar form of x plus i y as r into e raised to i 2 n pi plus theta. Then log of x plus i y will be half log of x square plus y square plus i into 2 n pi plus theta where theta is tan inverse of y by x. This value of log of x plus i y we call as general value of log of complex number. So now you have two different values of log of x plus i y. One is principal value and another one is general value. You can use any one of this as per your requirement. Now we see some examples on this concept. In this example, we are asked to prove that log of 1 plus cos 2x plus i sin 2x is equal to log of 2 cos x plus i x. Let us prove this. First we take LHS. LHS is log of 1 plus cos 2x plus i sin 2x. First we simplify the terms in this bracket. We know 1 plus cos 2x is 2 cos square x and sin 2x can be written as 2 sin x into cos x. Now I see 2 cos x is common in these two terms. So we can take it out to get log of 2 cos x into cos x plus i sin x. But cos x plus i sin x according to Euler's formula 
is e raised to i x. So we get log of 2 cos x into e raised to i x in the next term. Now we can treat this as log of a into b. And we know log of a into b is log of a plus log of b. So we get log of 2 cos x plus log of e raised to i x. Since this log is with base e, log of e raised to i x is just i x. Hence we get LHS is equal to log of 2 cos x plus i x as required. Hence this statement is proved. Now let us go ahead for next example. Here we are asked to prove that log of cos of x minus i y upon cos of x plus i y is equal to 2i into tan inverse of tan x into tan h y. Let us proceed for solution. First we take LHS which is log of cos of x minus i y upon cos of x plus i y. You can consider this as log of a by b and according to the log property log of a by b can be written as log a minus log b. So we get log of cos of x minus i y minus log of cos of x plus i y. We label this as number 1 and we take first term from this which is log of cos of x minus i y. Now we separate real and imaginary terms of cos of x minus i y. For that we expand cos of x minus i y. So we get cos x cos i y plus sin x into sin i y. Using relationship between circular and hyperbolic functions, we can say cos of i y is cos h y and sin i y is i sin h y. So we get log of cos x cos h y plus i sin x sin x y. Over here, I label a is equal to cos x cos h y and b is equal to sin x sin h y. So this statement can be written as log of cos of x minus i y is equal to log of a plus i b. And we know principal value of log of complex number is given by half log of a square plus b square plus i into tan inverse b by a. We label this as 2. This is value of log of cos of x minus i y. On the similar lines one can find out value of log of cos of x plus i y. We see that it is equal to half log of a square plus b square minus i tan inverse b by a. There is only sign difference in these two values. We label this as 3. Now finally we substitute values of log of cos of x minus i y and log of cos of x plus i y from 2 and 3 into equation number 1. So we get LHS is equal to half log of a square plus b square plus i tan inverse b by a minus half log of a square plus b square plus i tan inverse b by a. This first term and third term will get cancelled. So we end up with 2 times i tan inverse b by a. But we labeled b for sin x sin h y and a for cos x cos h y. So we substitute values for b and a over here. Now we see there is sin x upon cos x which is nothing but tan x and here we have sin h y upon cos h y which is nothing but tan h y. So we get LHS is equal to 2i tan inverse tan x into tan h y which is our required RHS. Hence we say that this statement is proved. Now let us go for next example. Here we are asked to prove if log of log of x plus i y is equal to p plus i q then y is equal to x into tan of tan q into log of root of x square plus y square. So let us prove this statement. We begin with solution by considering the given statement which is log of log of x plus i y is equal to p plus i q. Now we take exponential on both the sides. So this log will get removed and we end up with log of x plus i y on LHS and e raised to p plus i q on the RHS. e raised to p plus i q can be written as e raised to p into e raised to i q and we know principal value of log of x plus i y is half log of x square plus y square plus i tan inverse y by x. e raised to p into e raised to i q can be written as e raised to p into cos q plus i sin q. 
Now we compare both sides for real and imaginary parts. When we compare real parts, we get half log of x square plus y square is equal to e raised to p cos q. And when we compare imaginary parts, we get tan inverse y by x is equal to e raised to p sin q. Note that half log of x square plus y square can be written as log of root of x square plus y square using log property which says log of a raised to b is equal to b log a. Now let us divide this equation by this. So we get e raised to p sin q upon e raised to p cos q is equal to tan inverse y by x upon log of root of x square plus y square. Over here this e raised to p will get cancelled. Sin q upon cos q can be written as tan q and this RHS as it is. Next we take this log of root of x square plus y square on LHS to get log of root of x square plus y square into tan q is equal to tan inverse y by x. Then we take this tan inverse on the other side. So we get y by x is equal to tan of log of root of x square plus y square into tan q. Then finally after taking x on the other side we get y is equal to x into tan of log of root of x square plus y square into tan q which is our required RHS. You can look at here. Hence we say that this statement is proved. Now let us go for next example. Here we have to prove that the real part of 1 plus i root 3 raised to 1 plus i root 3 is 2 into e raised to minus pi by root 3 into cos of pi by 3 plus root 3 log 2. So let us proceed for solution. Here we begin by letting 1 plus i root 3 raised to 1 plus i root 3 is equal to x plus i y. So real part of 1 plus i root 3 raised to 1 plus i root 3 is x. So we just have to find out value of x is this. Now let us take log on both sides. So we get log of x plus i y is equal to 1 plus i root 3 into log of 1 plus i root 3. This is due to log property log of a raised to b is equal to b log a. Now log of 1 plus i root 3's principal value is log of or root of 1 plus 3 plus i tan inverse root 3 by 1. Tan inverse root 3 by 1 is pi by 3 and root of 1 plus 3 is 2. So we get this curly brackets value is log 2 plus i pi by 3. Now we do component wise multiplication of these two brackets. So we get 1 into this bracket that is log 2 plus i pi by 3 plus i root 3 into log 2 plus i pi by 3. Now let us open these brackets. So we get log 2 plus i pi by 3 plus i into root 3 log 2 plus i square into root 3 pi by 3. But i square is minus 1. So we get log of x plus i y is equal to log 2 plus i pi by 3 plus root 3 log 2 minus pi by root 3. Now let us combine real terms. So we get log 2 minus pi by root 3 and after combining imaginary terms we get i into pi by 3 plus root 3 log 2. Now to eliminate this log we will take exponential on both the sides. So we get x plus i y on LHS and on RHS we will have e raised to log 2 minus pi by root 3 plus i into pi by 3 plus root 3 log 2. This can be treated as e raised to a plus i b which can be written as e raised to a into e raised to i b. This can be written as e raised to log 2 into e raised to minus pi by root 3 and this can be treated as e raised to i theta so can be written as cos theta plus i sin theta. Since this log is with base e, e raised to log 2 is just 2, e raised to minus pi by root 3 as it is and this cos theta plus i sin theta as it is. Next we compare both sides for their real parts. On LHS real part is x and on RHS real part is 2 e raised to minus pi by root 3 into cos pi by 3 plus root 3 log 2. So we say x is equal to this. But x is a real part of 
1 plus i root 3 raised to 1 plus i root 3. Therefore, we just proved that real part of 1 plus i root 3 raised to 1 plus i root 3 is 2 e raised to minus pi by root 3 into cos pi by 3 plus root 3 log 2. I hope guys you understood all the examples that I have discussed in this video. In my next video, I will discuss more example on logarithm of complex number. Till then, keep watching my videos. Thank you all of you. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get updates about my new videos.